Do you have a business report that you need people to read? Of course you do. Why produce the report if you didn't want people to read it? Having said that, I do see a lot of reports that are hard to read or confusing to navigate or just boring to look at. This is normally because the critical step of design has been missed or forgotten. Well-designed reports ensure information is presented in an organized, visually appealing and easily digestible manner, enabling readers to quickly grasp key insights and take appropriate action. And that's what we really want, isn't it? Action taken. Hi, I'm Haz, a backend software engineer here at Canva. This video is perfect if you've been tasked with pulling together existing text into a thoughtfully crafted design, something that enhances the credibility and professionalism of your business. But later on, if you're the report writer, I'll show you how you can use Canva Docs to visually create your report from the ground up. Incorporating graphics, video, and artificial intelligence, they're a real game changer for producing engaging reports fast. Huge. Well, let's get into it. From the home page, type what you're looking for into the search field. Ooh, look at all those results. Every single one of these is a customizable template, ready to add in your text, imagery, and branding. Hover over a thumbnail and it'll scroll through the pages within. Click on it and it'll open a preview where you can manually choose the included pages to see similar templates. Click customize when you find one you love. To adjust the text, just double click on it. Change the font in this menu so it aligns with the brand type. I'll update the background color here. I love these graphics. Select them and you can move them, enlarge them, or hit delete if you don't like one. I'll upload my logo like this. You know what? The letter mark will actually work amongst this graphic, like this. It's almost saying that the business, surrounded by these varied and competing factors, is still able to stand out. This is the power of design, all the subliminal messages you can send. Okay, we're still on the cover, better hurry up. The table of contents is worth doing at the end, once you know the pages everything is appearing on but I'll just quickly update colors, etc. Click the change all button to really speed things up. Okay, next page, the introduction. This is where I really need to wow people. I've created a first impression with the cover. Now I need to solidify that into a lasting impression and show that this report is worth reading. And I have to admit, it's not doing that right now. First thing is to add the text by copying it from the document and pasting it in. Wow, I have a lot less. It's actually good. It means more space for imagery. Just go here, the elements tab, and type in what you're looking for. When you choose images, make sure they're adding to the communication, not just mimicking or contradicting it. Use them to tell more of the story you're introducing. I can go here and edit the image. Go to adjustments and drop back the saturation so they become more black and white. I'll also reduce the size of this text column. Line lengths play a crucial role in enhancing the speed of reading and retention of information when designing business reports. Research suggests a line length of 50 to 75 characters, including spaces, is ideal for maximizing readability and comprehension. This range strikes a balance between providing sufficient content per line, allowing the reader's eye to move smoothly from one line to the next, and preventing strain caused by excessively long lines that require significant horizontal eye movement. Some of these lines are hitting 90 characters. That's just going to cause the reader fatigue. Although if I make it too short, people will read fast, but won't remember what they've read.
Okay, this is perfect. Around 60 characters. I'll align these images with the edge. Alignment is an important design principle. It keeps everything looking tidy and planned. And then when you break alignment like this, it'll bring extra attention to this image. Just make sure it's an image you want extra attention on. Talking about getting extra attention, have you subscribed to our channel yet? Here, you can discover the secrets of design with our weekly tips and tricks brought to you by the very people working at Canva. Don't miss out. Smash that subscribe button now and join us on an exciting journey to transform your design skills, one video at a time. Okay, where was I? We've covered the basics of using a template and how to add your text and imagery. Let's talk about data quickly. Just like with the imagery, you can find charts and tables in the Elements tab. Let's put a table on this page. Click See All and choose the style you want. Change the color here. This will change the fill. And this will change the line color. Now I can add the data here. Add an extra line like this, an extra column like this. It's super simple. On this page, I'll add in some charts. Charts are crucial in business reports as they effectively visualize complex data, enabling readers to quickly grasp key insights and trends. Thankfully, in Canva, it's super simple to add. Let's go back into Elements, and this time, choose Charts. So many to choose from. I'll choose a bunch of different stats, enabling me to show the data in different ways, hopefully keeping the interest level high. And in no time at all, you can see how this whole report will start to come together. Looking pretty snazzy, right? Why don't we share this with some of my colleagues? Head to this menu and add the emails. They'll be able to jump in and start working on the document with you simultaneously in real time. Teamwork makes the dream work, as they say. Leave comments for people by tagging them like this. and respond to their questions as they pop up. Working together like this is a great way to get team buy-in or sign off from the people making decisions. When everyone is happy, you have a range of ways you could save this. Download a PDF here. Or if it's staying digital, maybe just send them a view only link. This is what they'll see when they click on the link and they can even react down here. Okay, I know I'm getting close to time, but I need to show you one more thing, Canva Docs. Perfect if you're in charge of writing the text. It means you can include visuals, graphs, even video, helping you amplify your message without having to type out more. It's using the visual tools to tell the story. Maybe it's easier if I just show you. From the home page, hit this button. I love that it gives you a quote when you start. It's inspirational, but also means you aren't starting with the dreaded blank page. Click here and you'll be exposed to the assistant, the thing that really sets Canva Docs apart. Scrolling down, you'll see it's got everything you might need for a report. Font styles, tables and charts, emojis, and even logos. Hit the design button and you can create a custom graphic. It's like Canva within Canva. And if you're stuck, for what to say, take advantage of Magic Write. Describe what you want to write and it will build you the perfect draft to get you started. Turn that music up, sit back and let me show you how you can quickly build this business report.
there. What do you think? Pretty amazing, isn't it? You know, to be honest, Canva Docs is still so new. I haven't even begun to scratch the surface of it. But in my day to day, I'm starting to use it for everything. One page of pictures, TLDR summaries, scripts, reports, obviously, even just as a dumping ground for my thoughts. Because you have access to all of the regular Canva tools and the option to collaborate with colleagues in unison, it's just so useful. Anyway, that's how you can bring together a business report, making it engaging and readable in no time at all. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Have you created your business report yet? Oh, not yet? Well, if you need some more inspiration, check out our playlists. We have lots of tutorials conducted by design experts who work right here at Canva. This one is a great one to follow up after watching this. See you next time.